Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. So today we continue our class again for computer architecture organization chapter 2 on the number system. So this is continuing from the last week where the last week we discussed about the number system. So today I would like to continue okay for discussing about the type of uh, integer that we have inside the number system. So continuing from the last week, okay, today we are going to focus on our data integer and character representation. So in character data integer and character representation, we have two types of uh, data actually, data in integer, I mean numbers. So integer representing the whole numbers and floating point is re representing uh, the fracture numbers. So last week I have mentioned about the uh, floating point. Okay, so this week I'm focus more on the integer. So integer is uh, okay. We separate into three types basically. The first type is what we call the unsigned notation. Okay, so unsigned notation is basically pure binary. Okay, so we have this number representing uh, from two power of seven until two power of zero. And the total is the number, the total of this value. So, in unsigned notation, okay, basically it's a simple real number. So, it has a simple addition and only one representation of zero. But the disadvantage is that you cannot represent negative number using it. So, there are need okay, of different notation to represent the negative number especially in terms of you want to do subtraction and also for addition of negative numbers okay so addition in this case is simple where you have like for example in this case 1 plus 1 equal 1 0 2 which is uh, in binary is 1 0 so 0 come down 1 going up okay and then 1 plus 0 is 1 and then 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 0 is 1 so here is the result 1 1 1 0 so continuing next Okay, so here we have sign notation. So in sign notation, okay, you have the leftmost bit in a certain limited bit in the sign. For example, in case of 8 bit, is reserved for sign, whether it's a negative or positive. So 0 usually representing positive, 1 usually representing negative. So in case of your PC is operating at 8 bit, okay, you have the less leftmost uh, bit here is reserved for the sign. So you doesn't count this when you want to find the value of the bits. So in this case, you just add the value based on what left in the bit. Okay, and then when you add them, you can get, in this case, the left is negative 29 and on the right here is positive 29. Okay, so in this case, we have two representation of zeros. We have negative zeros and positive zeros, which sometimes make things difficult due to you only need one zero to do subtraction. If you have two zero, you don't know which zero is available. Okay, is this a negative zero or positive zero? So this comes to the next case where we have one's complement. Okay. So one's complement is basically based on the uh, binary, based on the sign, but a little bit different where you have, okay, in case you have a six, a four bit, okay, four bit values, okay, the bit values, okay, usually we start from zero until 50, okay, which is F in binary. However, in this case, they start from, Okay, 0 to 7 and negative 7 to negative 0. So this is the way that we have in one's complement when you have representation of binary in one's complement. Okay, so you have basically, okay, so the positive numbers are same with the sign magnitude notation and also uh, same with the uh, unsigned 
okay, magnitude notation. However, in terms of negative integer, in this case, okay, so in this case, we have a uh, different in terms of uh, representing the zeros, okay? Other than that, it's the same. So in this case, if you say that 18 in base 10, which is in decimal, is equal to this in binary. However, in uh, negative 18 for base 10, one's complement is in this one. So basically, the negative number and the positive number is just opposite of each other. Okay, why I say it's opposite than each other? If you see the fourth bit for the positive is 1, okay, for the negative is 0. Among them is 1. And then here, fourth and the seventh bit, okay, is 1. Here, fourth and seventh bit is 0. Other than that is 1. So it's the opposite bit, okay, for first, uh, for one's complement, it's an opposite bit. Okay, so this is basically for one's complement representation. Okay, so in terms of addition, okay, for one complement, so one complement you can do addition with it. So for example, basically it's not an addition, it's a subtraction. Because when we want to add <coughs> 1 with negative 6, means that we are doing 1 minus 6. So 0, 0, 0, 1, subtract with 1, 0, 0, 1, you get this negative 5, 1, 0, 1, 0. And this one, plus 3, minus with negative 3, you get negative 0. It's not a positive 0, it's a negative 0. And this one, for example, in this case, minus 12 plus 13, okay, you'll get this value. However, this value, you have 1 more than the assigned bit. So the assigned bit is 5, and the result is an extra one bit here. So this extra one bit cannot fit in into the memory allocation of this five bit. So you must add it back to the right side and it become one, which is positive one at the end. So next we have the two's complement notation. So this one is what we are using right now in our PC. So the most used representation for integers and all positive numbers begin with zero and all negative number begin with negative one. Okay, there are only one, one representation of zero in this case. So when you, uh, when you want to do this, okay, there is a certain rule for you to conduct uh, the conversion into the two's complement notation. So basically, the two's complement representation of positive integers is the same as in negative two representation. However, a negative number is represented by the two's complement of the positive integer with the same magnitude. Okay, in this case, performing the one's complement operation first and then add one. Okay, for example, in this case, okay, if you want to get negative 6, okay, if you want to get negative 6, okay, so you need to use, uh, you, you create the what's complement operation first, which is 1001, zero, zero, one. One, zero, zero, one. and then you must add another one, okay, add one, so 1001, zero, zero, one, okay, in one notation is negative 6, and then you add one, you got negative 6 for 2's complement, okay? So you need to first convert to 1's complement, which is you swap the bit, okay? 0, 1, 1, 0 become 1, 0, 0, 1. And then you add 1 to the binary, okay? And then you get 1, 0, 1, 0, which is the negative, uh, which is the binary for negative 6 under 2's complement. Okay, so assign integer number has n bits that can be a number between negative 2 power of n minus 1 to positive 2 power n minus 1 uh, minus 1. So in case you have 4 bits, it starts with negative 2 power of 3, which is 8, until a negative, uh, until positive 2 power of 4 bits minus 1, which is 3 minus 1. So in this case, negative 8 until positive 7. 
okay so in case of 8 bit tools complement okay you have from plus 127 until minus 128 and for 16 bit you have from plus 32767 until negative 32768 okay so this is the range of number based allocation of bit into complement so basically for tools complement arithmetic in addition you just add okay convert the number into tools complement representation binary and then just add using normal addition okay 1 plus 1 equal 0 1 1 plus 0 equal 1 0 plus 1 equal 1 0 plus 0 equal 0 so you add them so in case of subtract you need to find the uh, you need to convert the first operand okay uh, into the, the first operand is uh, this, the normal one but the second operand you need to convert it into a negative number and then you add the positive and the negative number so you use this rule okay for the two's complement in case you want to use uh, you want to negative number add uh, subtract with okay uh, subtract with a positive number you get negative number okay subtract with neg plus negative number so in this case plus b is a subtraction in change to negative b in addition so in this is the way that we do so, and then we have four ways here based on this way we will do the addition and the subtraction so for two complement addition you will conduct it okay uh, normally in this case okay you have this one and you will get okay 1001 is basically 5 okay 0101 is basically uh, this is not 5 this is this is uh, 9 9 add with 5 okay you will get in this case 14 okay so in this case you will get okay 0 1 1 0 0 and 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 okay when you add them you get one extra okay so this one is equal to 0 with one what we call overshoot okay and then you have this one addition and then you will get this same one as the beginning as well okay so in two's complement addition the carry out of the most significant bit is ignored so this one we ignore because we call it overflow so overflow occurs whenever two positive negative numbers are added and the result indicates a negative positive number so it means that it's a uh, more than the number of bit allocated for the uh, the number itself so stated another way okay if two numbers are added and they are both positive or both negative then overflow occurs if and only if the result has an opposite sign okay so in case of overflow like for example in this case plus 80 plus 80 okay so in 80 plus 80 okay here supposed to get 160 okay but in this case you produce negative 96 okay negative 96 okay not 160 because the sign bit is 1 so this why we try to avoid having uh, counting uh, the one that inside here inside because the leftmost bit usually will represent the negative number okay so here usually leftmost bit we ignore so we usually look at only the first seven bit in case of this number okay in the all three system okay based on uh, okay the most significant bit okay on the left okay zero is for positive numbers and one for negative numbers so positive values have identical representation of all these system all three system so there are distinct representation for plus zero and minus zero in both the sign magnitude and one's complement system so the two's complement okay th this is the only one that has the representation of zero 
Okay, sine and sine magnitude system. Okay, so it's the most natural, and the one's complement is easily related to the natural system. However, the two's complement, okay, is the most useful when you want to do addition and subtraction operation. So most computers that we have right now are using two's complement system. So in terms of arithmetic of two's complement number, okay, in case of sine number, okay. So addition is uh, addition of n bit sine binary number is straightforward using the two complement system. Okay, addition is carried out as if all the numbers were positive, and carrying from the sine position is not. This will always yield the correct result except when the overflow occurs. Okay, so this is an example okay, of the calculation of a sine binary arithmetic using two's complement. You see, in this case, you will get the result 53 plus 12 is 65. 118 plus 2 is 120. 61 minus 5 is 56. Okay, 10 minus 107 is negative 97. Okay, negative 2 minus 35 is negative 37. Negative 2 minus negative, 30, uh, negative 3 is equal to negative 5. So here we have an overflow here, 1. So however, the overflow is ignored. In this case also, we will have an overflow. So in this case, like for example, add 5 and 10. Okay, so you have 5 in binary form, and you have 10 in binary form, and total is 15. So in this case, for negative 5 and 10, so you have negative 5 in binary form and uh, plus 10, uh, positive 10 as the operand here, the total is positive 5. Okay, so if you look at when you add 1 plus 1, okay, uh, equal 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, and then you get 1 here, so 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal 1, and then you have 1, 1 is 0, at 1, 0, 0, 0, and actually you have one overflow here, which is 1. So this overflow will, will ignore it, and the answer will correctly show positive 5. So here we have at 5 and negative 10. So when you add 5 and negative 10, basically you are doing 5 minus 10, which is you get the answer negative 5. Okay. So in terms of negative 5 and negative 10, okay, the same thing, you just add them, okay, you will have an overflow at the end, but you will ignore the overflow, you will get the result here. So that's all for today, thank you very much for listening to my course, and I expect you guys to continue with me up until the end of the semester. So for those who haven't uh, subscribed, my channel please do subscribe my channel and please i appreciate if you can drop a few likes so if you have any comments you can post it in the <clears throat> in the comments in the video and for my students if you have one uh, you want more attention from me you can post it in the google classroom and you can wait for our tutorial for us to discuss later okay uh, so i guess i see you guys next week thanks again bye